let's talk about oh yeah let's talk about this Burt Kreischer bro did you see did you guys see Burt did you guys see Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura being embarrassing on Pat McAfee's show oh brothers you're gonna cringe so much by the way anybody watching now if you hear the sound of my voice please be prepared for maximum cringe full-blooded hd 4k cringe be prepared i'm warning you i'm warning you maximum cringe incoming maximum cringe incoming not as good as you how much do you weigh whenever you completed that uh, six six uh six six two hundred oh no, no. you're not impressed with the, the, with the uh, fake bounce i see your boobs they're not boobs man yeah, I see your boobs. <laughs> I, I'm putting no. some work yeah i saw your boobs yeah. popping, man. we're on espn Akbar. 265 man come on speaking of boobs there's a man over your left shoulder who I've seen his boobs. Are you doing both? <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, <laughs> Birdie. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, he's bringing drinks, man. Oh, brother. Oh, hold on, bro. I got The poor Osos jacket. The poor Osos jacket. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. The fucking baseball jacket. Ew, ew, ew. Birdie. Hold on, bro. I got Five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> yep. Yep. Mighty. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Never keep a yeah. shirt. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. 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 Ten seconds. Oh, brother. What is happening? Bert, this is the first time I've seen you in shirt off. Jack, brother. Look, hey, Vegas. Look at this shoulder. Look at this shoulder, Pat. Hey, Bert. Explosivity. Oh, oh. Yeah, you're damn right. Make Bert. your chest bounce, man. Make your yeah, chest bounce. Not your shoulders, your chest. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm a new athlete. I'm a new athlete. I haven't learned the boob bounce yet. Hey, Akbar, you're the man. Keep going, buddy. Pat McAfee is such a pro. Throughout the entire process, for the entire period of this clip, you can tell he's uncomfortable with Burt being there. You can tell he doesn't want him to be there. But he's such a fucking pro. He deals with it so well. But it's so cringe and so embarrassing. I'm just going to let it play the whole thing. I'm not going to stop it anymore. But just keep watching this. Oh, God almighty. Hey, Vegas seems like a place that you... Oh, oh buddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fight with my wife at? <laughs> yeah. No, you and the in the Up until three in the morning because someone took out a $50,000 marker because Taylor Lewan had did it. Okay, so you went and did the Dana White gambling thing? No. I lost it before that. <laughs> okay, so because Dana took... Remember, he told... Dana was sitting right here. And he goes, yeah, we'll get you 60000 bucks, no problem. I'm like, so I got to bring, what, a few hundred thousand? No, I just take a line of credit out. Don't worry about it. I'm like, so who do I owe then at the end of that thing if I lose? He's like, you're not going to lose. You did, it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not with Dana. Listen, I can't. It wasn't with Dana. No, 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 no. Tom and I did a thing. We had uh, Baker Mayfield, Taylor Luan, Bill Compton, Jason Kelsey. Uh, it, was a, it was a good group. Right. But, man, I can't roll with the big dogs like that. No, if you win, you. A regular person, right? would just know when to leave after this quick little like you know hey here's me my top off especially when you're the one standing everyone's sitting like you used to show you'd know when to leave right you just make your quick joke and you'd leave but oh and there's something about you nfl players that's just different like you guys you guys don't mind putting it all out there like regular dudes <laughs> go into the shower with boxers on right like you guys go in. I don't know. All Who's doing that? What open? No, like, you're, you're not doing grade. that. You're walk. You're in, you are not walking in, in there. Grade, no in way. Seventh grade, in seventh grade, the first time I ever showered with boys, I wore boxers in the shower. Seventh grade. I mean, now you're a different. You're a machine now. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. a machine yeah. now. Hands will come off right here, guys. So I promise you that. No, no. All right. yeah, I can't. I can't well, gamble with those guys. They go. They go hard. You guys got massive shows coming up. Are you yeah. guys? You're good. You're just MGM gonna power right through. Arena. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, we, we lost to vodka this week, Porosos. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very yeah. much. So I, I did not sleep last night. I'm still drinking. God bless you. Cheers. Cheers to you, dude. Cheers, brother. Hey, how about you? Just a Florida man. Just take it over. He has a movie about his life. I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We it's watched. about your life, too. It's not just, oh, oh I didn't know we were. Whoa. I had a couple movies about my life. Isn't that crazy? The contract. That is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. a Florida, Florida guy. I'm a Florida man. The Departed, yeah. Through and through. Oh, yeah. I, I'm shocked I haven't been struck by lightning yet. Hey, don't you notice how unfunny this is, by the way? Isn't that interesting? Look how unfunny and uncomfortable this is. There's no jokes. There's no banter. No one's crying, laughing. Nothing. He's just standing there awkwardly talking. It's kind of similar to his stand-up comedy, isn't it? And yeah, Uche is right. He definitely is the kind of person who will be hard to get rid of. He's the kind of person, Uche, you'd know this, right? When you have an after somewhere, when you invite people out from a night out, right? And they come back to yours or whatever. 
he's that person that is not getting the sign that everyone wants to go to bed now. The only people left who are standing, who are staying up are the people that live in that house. He doesn't get the sign. And you have to literally all maybe secretly text each other and say, hey, we're going to go to bed at the same time. And then he'll maybe get the sign. He doesn't really, no social cues, nothing. He just always thinks he's the most important person in the room. It's coming. Yeah. <laughs> no all right, so, no. I'm going to roll out. I love you guys. Hey, you too. Congrats. Brother. We'll see no, you soon. Congrats. What's this? This is the vodka? This is the vodka. Porosos, me and Tommy launched it. Tommy's sleeping in. I'm doing press. He'll be here to do Rich Eyes. And he was like, ah, I'm not a big McAfee fan. Yeah. <laughs> <gonna be> there. <laughs> we are, we would do the same exact thing. McAfee's yeah. so Where is this available, easy, everyone? So cool. Florida, Texas. Oh, yeah. Pick up McAfee for rolling in with March. It, man. All right. This is our soft launch. Porosos, everyone. Thank you. We know. We see the name on your hat. We see the name on the bottle. We saw the jacket. Like we know what the name is. Like, thank you, just no, allow thank it. you Bert. Congrats on everything, buddy. Love you too. Congrats on everything. Love you, Bert. Love you, Bert. Love you, Bert. Love you, Bert. He's so white. So he just takes off his t-shirt and jacket, throws it on the floor, then picks it up and does he wear underwear? By the way, does he wear underwear or he just raw dogs jeans? Imagine raw dog in denim jeans. Raw denim jeans. He raw dogs raw denim jeans. He just lets his nuts hang on the jeans. Inside the jeans. It's people do people do that? Love you, Bert. Where'd he go, man? the machine. That a boy, Bert. Guy wears boxers in the, in the shower. He's not wearing any uh, right now, but no, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Bert. Nothing on. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> he left his drink. Smart. I think yep. uh, you yeah, might as well finish, finish it. Smart play. You might as well finish yeah. it. We have so many microphones, I don't know which one's which. And if anybody could hear what he said there, but we can hear Bert's right. going through a little bit. He is. Bert, it looks like Bert's having a little bit of a Vegas morning. Yep. A little Vegas morning. Poor Osa sounds like a key. Pat McAfee's obviously a bit annoyed. A bit annoyed by his presence. No, but it's a vodka? <laughs> Uh, see, I was going to look for the answer, but it's just an empty cup. Uh, yeah, po okay. Porosos. I believe. <laughs> Poros. God, we heard actually lost. I We're know. down right now, big. At least he admits to <laughs> Big up Pat McAfee for being a pro, but he fucking hates it. He hates it so much. <laughs> but this is going to be worse, by the way. This is going to be worse. You thought that was cringy. The second interruption from Bert and Tom now is going to be far worse because Bert gets considerably drunker in between. So, again... Strap in, guys. Guys and girls out there, strap in. This is going to be way more cringe than the first clip. All right? Way more cringe than the first clip. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here they come. Here they come. I probably should have cut the clip a bit more, but here they come. Here comes Tom and Bert, the two fucking middle-aged white men selling their fucking shitty vodka. Look at the black dude looking at them like, who the fuck are these? Who the fuck are these niggas? <laughs> This guy's not sure either. What the fuck's going on here? Yeah, we are. Bird, that's on okay. Andy, right? Oh, wow. We got Tommy Bones with us. All right. Hey, Tom. Hey, hey Tom. Tommy. Tommy. Hey. Tommy. Hey. Tommy. Tommy. Hey. CJ. Hey. Do you know these guys? No. I know. CJ. They want those hoodies, yeah, Tommy. Man. Do you know these guys? Of course. <laughs> But once everyone's done, the two looking. funny whites, two funny whites, CJ, <laughs> yeah, right, right. two up, funny bro? whites, cool. Tom and I to interrupt. Hey man, thank you for stopping by. Yeah. Oh. I heard you were sleeping this morning. Bro. Yeah, I got you a recovery drink. Thanks. Oh wow. They said if two brothers would have walked in, they would have called the police. No sure. <laughs> <laughs> CJ, you drinking? You drinking, CJ? No sir, I don't drink. Look how funny he was. The the the, the footballer, right? Was able to say a funnier joke than, than these guys have said the whole entire time they've been there. Big up CJ. Yeah. <laughs> nope. He's got an offensive rookie of the year to win, dude. Just won it. Okay, Bert, sorry about it. How are you guys Boy, doing? Tom. Let's go. You're still doing it. I'm hammered. You're still doing I'm it. Give it to Tom. Uh, I yeah, yeah, to Tom. Yeah. Don't, don't Watch out, man. It's C4 time. Y'all tripping. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Look how awkward they are. They can't riff. What's going on? Look how awkward they are. CJ is fucking holding it down. Zinging them, pinging them. They can't even riff. You see how terrible of comics these guys are. You see how terrible these are guys are as comics. They can't riff. They can't banter. They don't look. Look how awkward they're standing. Like They look like two middle-aged white men in this situation. But they're two professional comics, allegedly. Big up CJ. Oh, Tastes like. Uh, it's really good, actually. This is really good. Waterfall. Yeah. For, how's this? Great mix. That's delicious. Try it. What is it? What is it's it? our recovery drink. So what's in it? There's is uh, funny uh, yes. uh, humor. We take migrants' blood and bone marrow at the border. There you See, go. Oh, what else? Everyone's chewing C4. 
Yeah, you know, there's yeah. a... Yeah, all right. All right. All right. Yeah. Oh, all right. no. Yeah. Oh, please. Oh, so there we go. Bird's got a weird physiology, isn't it? All his fat is, like, on his body, not on his legs. He's actually got the legs of a skinny dude, but his midsection is where all the fucking weight goes. Isn't that weird how his physiology is? Like all the beer, all the all the burgers, all go to his midsection. Bopper left the UFC. He would always shit on it by saying, "Now he doesn't have to get punched in the face." He kind of burned that bridge, oh. even though he tried something with food truck diaries. That's such a good point. Big up Austin Casey. That's such a good point. I didn't think about that. Yeah, do you remember? Because he kept saying, he kept making it seem like stand-up comedy saved him or podcasting saved him. Because he didn't get CT or brain damage. Yeah, that's a very good point. He wasn't very, like, glowing about his time in the UFC, really. That's a very good point. He was never respectful of it, never honoured it or anything. Very, very good point. Big up Austin Casey with the fucking knowledge drop there, the insight drop, the hot take of all hot takes. Damn. But as well, to be fair, I don't know much about Pat McAfee, but he seems like a very charismatic person. He seems incredibly likeable easy to watch like, i could easily i don't even know anything about football like i always say the great sign of pod the great sign of good content which is why i sometimes love when people give me this compliment it's one of my favorite ones oh i love putting you on in the background oh i fell asleep to your streams those are the best compliments because we all know how precious or how um you know how protective we are of our time and what we hear in the background if something's terrible you switch it off straight away so if somebody can listen to your thing in the background it's amazing so i think pat mcafee even if i don't know football i could easily have pat mcafee show in the background and i would let it play out the whole time his whole stream that's a sign of a good show and i think it has a lot to do with pat mcafee being a really nice guy he comes across as a good dude i think brendan just doesn't have that capability he's just i think there's something about brendan where people can tell he's just a bit of a dickhead unfortunately he can't you can't really fake being a good guy, you know, unfortunately. You, you know, you probably can fake a lot of things online, but you can't fake being a nice person. <laughs> he poured it here. I'm not. There we go. For, oh, boy. Yeah. Thank you guys for stopping by. You're welcome. Nice. Stop. Thank you. Nice, nice. Oh, Thank you for stopping by. He's trying to get them to leave. That's a lie. That's He's trying to get them to leave. Okay. They're not leaving. Doing that, Bert. Really nice Look at Bert. He just doesn't want to put his. He Jesus drinks. Christ. I want one of those hoodies. Oh, right. I C4 only. CJ. CJ. C4. 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 That, that's smooth right. as hell, but I'm going to throw a weird how high level athletes don't move. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Especially Thursday. At 11 a.m., you know, Thursday, 11 a.m. By the way, by the way, did you see that? The producer in the background thought it was part of the show. Or it was fun. She brought out a second mic. Pat McAfee went to go give it to Bert. He saw how wasted he looks. He was like, nah. Now he's just holding it in his hand. He's like, nah, nah, nah I'm not giving that shit to him, Bert. He's going to stay here forever. Pat McAfee was going to give it to him. And he was like, nope. <laughs> hey, Bert, here's to you, bub. Brother. Brother. Y'all get a free promo. Brother. Excuse me. I'm in the way. Hold that exactly. C4 up. Y'all getting sorry. free hey, promos. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Hey. CJ's getting annoyed now. Even CJ's getting annoyed now. CJ's getting annoyed. He doesn't think the guys are cool. He doesn't think they're funny. CJ's getting a little bit annoyed himself. Like, what the fuck, man? Like, it's, it's my interview. What, what are you guys doing? Fuck off. He doesn't drink either. So he probably, you know, if you don't drink, the last thing you want to do is be around middle-aged white men who are drinking, right? The last thing you want to do if you're sober is being around anybody that's drinking. CJ is probably getting annoyed here. See you boys. Cheers. Two bears. He hates it. See. Pat McAfee, by the way, good good job he did here, Pat McAfee. He's drinking that drink to get rid of Bert and Tom. He's drinking it to get rid of them. A guy, I'm sure some of you guys know social cues. Pat McAfee's only drinking that just to get rid of them. You'll be good. In there? Take it Definitely down. Take bottle. it down, Pat McAfee. Mm. Come on. Oh, too. What is it? You're ready to go. Yeah, I am. Hell yeah. I wasn't before, but now, but now I am. you are. You put the mic underneath the desk. Now I see that. You put the mic on. You can't see it, but you put the mic under the desk. The producer gave him a second mic to give to Bert. He looked at Bert's face. He saw how drunk he was. He held it in his hand. And now he finished a drink and he put the mic underneath the desk. <laughs> he doesn't want those guys to be there at all. Big up Pat McAfee. What a pro. Thank you. I can find this in Texas. Thank you. Subtle, subtle indication for him to leave. Thank you. I can find this where? California and Florida. Yes. Yeah. He's the, pro. He's the man. Por porosis. 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 Porosis.
God, he's so embarrassing. Uh, three and a half. <laughs> three and a half. Oh, he's doubting you. Oh, my wow. God. Boom. <laughs> All right. Okay. CJ, three. No Hold on, Burp, Burp. What is an accurate over under? Wait, you, what is a proper? 24 oh, wait, and a half. 24. No, what, what's a proper expectation? Yeah. What? what? 40? Yeah. They gotta be full. Okay, so we'll wait, do. Wait, wait, but AJ's calling. He's gonna give you range you notes. Make sure you go down what is going on? <laughs> what? CJ. The funny thing about uh, CJ saying what's going on. The funny thing about this, Tom hates this just as much as everybody. This is the funny thing about this. Tom hates this just as much as anybody, but because he's selling this vodka, he has to put his hate to one side. He has to fucking just, you know, put up with this because he knows this is the only way to sell, you know, Bert's gonna do what he's gonna do. But <laughs> oh, CJ, look look at CJ's face. I wish I could zoom in. Look at his face. He's looking at him with pure disgust. Look at his face. I wish I could zoom in. I can't zoom in, can I? No. But he's looking at him with pure disgust. Look at his face. We got a strong hamster about to do push-ups. <laughs> CJ, listen. <laughs> None of us know what's going on. Sorry. Uh, uh, on. Including me. Do. We got NJ Ranger. At least if it was Fred and the K, we'd find out how big CJ's peepee peepees oh. is. Maybe he'll win the Grand Hogasso. Yeah, it'll be so horrible, innit? They'll be asking him about his dick. And I'm surprised they haven't mentioned it already. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. He's got a piece on him. Shut up, you fucking idiots. But yeah, big up, AJ Ranger. Oh. Yeah. All right. All right. You count it, AJ. Come on. One, yeah, two, lock out. Yeah, go on. Yep. Oh, these aren't pushing us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice. You can see his horse. We're going. I come on. So. Where's he at right now? 15. 16. Where you at, Bert? What number are you at? Don't make him count. All the way up. Somebody else count. No, we missed it already. I know. So Trust if we start counting. It's at least 20. 20. 20. 20. 30. Come on. There's 30 right there. there are how many? 30. 30. All the way up. Nine. That's 40. Sure. Come on. Let's get to 50. Know. Let's get to 50. He's been going since early. CJ, this is your fault. No, I think he's here now. Tired <laughs> he said 3 a.m. I had an argument with his wife. He lost 50 grand, he said. There you go. Hey, way to go, Bert. We're proud of you, Bert. CJ, call to Miko. We're proud of you, Bert. I'm good, bro. Look at look at look, look how he's looking at him. <laughs> hey, we appreciate you boys. Oh, man. Yeah. Keep going. Hey, Sorry, good job, Bert. Tom, thanks, Bob. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tom. All right, well, you sorry for ruining it. No, your Tom, thank you, Tom. DJ, you great to meet you. C4 for life. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, Bert. CJ didn't even look at him. He didn't even look at him. CJ didn't even look at Tom. He didn't even look at him. He's like, fucking these white dorks. He didn't even look at him. He didn't look at Tom at all. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Hey, love Good you work. too, Bert. Thank you. No, you're no, don't uh, leave, man. Leave. No apologies hey. needed. Look good, Tom. Great shoes. Yeah, yeah, I'll take this it. This is yours. Good, yeah, Tom. thank you, Tom. Good to see you, Tom. Here you go. Bert's Great shoes, there. Tom. Yeah, so CJ, those are two drunk whites in a wild. <laughs> Big up, MK. Bert definitely doesn't have a toaster or any self respect. I swear to God, I have family relatives like this, right? But it only shows up during like family functions. I'm sure some of you guys have relatives like that, right? Uncles who are like embarrassing to be around. But it's usually family functions where there's too much booze. Bert is like this all the time. Like, it's part of his personality. He's like this all the time. It's ex it must be exhausting. It must be exhausting to be his friend. Like, God almighty, bro. Fuck. Big up, MK. I know that was happening on that so. man. You want you give him two and a half, three and a half push-ups? Yeah. True. He proved you he, wrong. No, no he, he didn't do any. Man, he, he didn't do any. Like, you're not an extender. <laughs> you don't have to combine when they make you press out. Yeah. That don't count. All right, so what do you got going on with C4? That don't count. He's disgusted. CJ's disgusted by the push-ups. You had to sit there and watch some middle-aged white man do shitty push-ups. Like, that don't count. That's the funny thing about people like this, right? I think pro athletes at that kind of level, they don't want you to try and, like, suck them off and try and pretend you're an athlete too. Big up Mexican, Mexican salsa. You don't drive Argos in a hoe? What? Why not? Yeah, I can't drive, man. I got too many criminal offences on my name, bro. You know what I mean? My license got revoked. I did a couple ride outs. You know what I mean? Um, I've got I've got a name in the streets. Big up, Jim. Replace these two with Bobby Lee and Theo, and we are all laughing. Exact. Exactamente. You see, everybody was cringing. No one was laughing. Like it was just them in their own little joke. Like I can't, I can't wait, I can't wait to hear what they say on the podcast about this, how they try and spin it, 
because that was a bomb. They bombed incredibly hard. They bombed so hard. But I want to know what they think about when they go on their own pods. I'd love to hear what they have to say. But I love how this CJ guy just is not impressed. And oh, by the way, to finish my point, I think, again, I've never met a pro athlete in like, you know, in like a social event. But I think if you was to meet a pro athlete in real life, they'd be much more... They'd be mu- they'd be way more open to talking to you if you just spoke to him like a normal person and he didn't try and like talk about your athletic accomplishments, which one you shouldn't. You know what I mean? Like they actually just want to hang out or talk to somebody that's normal who might talk about some normal shit and not try and prove how much of a badass they are or something. Or I could have made it pro, but I busted my knee. They don't want to hear that. They just want to. You know I mean, it's probably refreshing to hear somebody just speak normally about other things that don't include football. You know, but those guys have no real personality um they always trying to suck up the famous people but on one hand all his, his only personality is that he drinks this guy doesn't drink obviously he's a top tier athlete and even if he did drink he's not going to drink on this show do you know what i mean like he's got a sponsor he's doing an interview like even if he did drink why would you offer some professional footballer a drink live on some po- podcast stream it's so fucking dumb and inconsiderate but yeah i love how cj didn't give them any love and kind of just gave them the cold shoulder that was absolutely brilliant now that we got the real hero in yeah, here. Yeah, man, get that, uh, that alcohol out of here. That's right. C4 here, the real stuff. The <laughs> stuff that's going to have you really bouncing off the wall. How long have you been with C4? <laughs> like three, four years, man. They were my first NIL deal in college. So, you know, nice. it's been amazing to work with them. I take their protein powder. I take their energy drinks and um, their pre-workout. So it's been amazing. NSF certified. So, you know, the league ain't going to be tripping on us. And, Which is uh, good. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. I want some C4 now. <laughs> Fuck por osos. I want some C4. I want some fucking C4. Big up CJ. I want some C4. I want to see if I can find some in the UK. I want some fucking C4 now. You smashed it. I want some C4. Give me C4. <laughs> that was brilliant. Can you actually get C4 in the UK? C4. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Can we get some? Oh, I can. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna order some C4. Look, you can get some C4 in the UK. Yeah, I want some C4 now. It's called a Selucor C4 energy drink. It's only £2.49 per can. Decent. £20 for a fucking case. Yeah, I'm going to buy some tomorrow. I'm going to get some tomorrow. I'm going to get some C4 tomorrow. And I'm going to fucking go crazy. I'm going to pump, 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 pump with some C4. Oh, yeah. Good fucking big up CJ. We're in the gang together. Big up CJ. Fuck por osos. No por also C fucking C what you got C4 all day. C4 bang your door. C4 we're we're a C4 stream now. <laughs> oh, I'm stupid. I'm dumb. I'm an idiot.